Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna do a new lip swatch video and a lot of you have been asking me for my nude lip recommendations and I've been feeling nude lips as well. So that's what this video is about. I hope you enjoy it. But before we get started, if this is the very first time you're seeing this face, hello, I am Jovita. I would love it if you took a second to click that red subscribe button just underneath this video. Now, let's get started. I am not looking forward to the wiping and the reapplying of the lipstick situation, guys. But you've got to do what you've got to do. So let's go. All right, here is my first combination. Now, this is a combination between the K-Beauty Lip Liner in the shade Fame and her lipstick in the shade Thriller. Now, this reminds me of that extremely neutral-toned, wipe-out, almost Kim Kardashian. This really reminds me of a Kim Kardashian signature lip um, because it's so neutral and it goes with any look, any eye, any dress, any throughout the day, you know. I discovered this during my Deepika Padukone recreation and I'm obsessed with it, guys, obsessed with it. Let's move on to combo number two. Usually when I do my nude lip videos, I include a lot of pinky nudes and mauvey nudes because those are my personal favorite kind of nudes. It gives you a little rosy touch. But currently, I've been really loving that neutral lip. I want just a neutral, ow, I just poked myself in the face. <laughs> I also have another tip for you. If you want that 3D pouty lip, you shouldn't be blending your lip liner all the way into your lips. Apply it like the 90s style. Just line your lip, a thick line, and then apply your lipstick in the middle. Here I am spilling all sorts of lipstick tips and tricks, but with whatever your brown lip combination is, if you take a lipstick that's really, really lighter than your skin tone, now this is Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. Apply this just to the center of the lips, and I love the fact that this is also a matte form do you see how instantly your lips just looks 10 times more pouty so that is actually two combinations in one let's move on to third combination oh wait i did not even tell you what this combination was wow jovi wow <laughs> so for combination number two i'm lining my lips with the chambord lip pencil in br03 and i'm filling my lips with latella by verified if you are into glossy lips, this is a combination you must definitely try. For the last two years when we had to wear masks, I tried to stay away from glossy lips even though I really, really, really love glossy lips at this. Like I've never liked glossy lips and when I couldn't do it, I loved it. <laughs> but now that you know the mask mandate is kind of coming down, you can, you know, pull out your lip glosses and try a combination like this because it's so sultry guys. So I've got the same Shambo lip pencil in BR03 and on top of that, I topped it off with Kiro lip lacquer in the shade roasted walnut now if you are of a skin tone lighter than me you do not need a lip liner this lipstick this lip lacquer will look absolutely gorgeous on its own but if you are a little bit deeper like myself you definitely need a lip liner but that's all you need a lip liner and it looks gorgeous here is a stunning affordable nude lipstick for my deeper girls now of course it doesn't mean that only if you are deeper you can wear this you can also wear it if you're lighter it's just specifically stunning if you want a wipe out nude and you are of a darker skin tone you don't have to be under the impression that you don't have lipsticks out there this is so stunning this is in the shade deja nude by nika so inexpensive guys i believe this is just 3.99 rupees or something like that and here is another winner from Nika. This is from their Lux range. If you are my skin tone or deeper, pair it with one of the lip liners that I spoke about, either the K-Beauty one or the Chambord one or any other brown lip liner that is your favorite. It doesn't have to be the ones that I mentioned. Uh, this is in the shade Vintage. This is also very, very long wearing. It actually stains your lips, so it wears off very evenly, very comfortable, more matte. It's like a velvet matte. It's not like a dry out, you know, make your lips crack kind of a matte. It does transfer all of these uh, bullet lipsticks transfers guys and that's okay with me i'm completely okay with it all the links to purchase all of these lipsticks will be linked down in the description bar below so definitely check it out how can we do lipsticks and not include at least one lakme 
lipstick, guys. Like, Lakme does lipstick so well. They have so many ranges. It's confusing even to me <laughs> as a beauty blogger. But here is a lipstick that I've loved for a very long time. This is from their 3D Matte range, Lakme Absolute, in the shade Soft Nude. This is slightly a little bit more peachy, so perfect for summer if you want a little bit more of that orangey, peachy vibe. It's not as neutral as the ones that I've been showing you till now. This almost has a silicone-y feel. It's very, very long wearing. It smells so good as well. Like a peach parfait. Colourpop is another brand that does lipstick so well. Although it's not available in India yet, I had to include this because I think a little birdie has let me know that it's launching in India very, very soon. So this is from their chocolate line or cocoa line or something as the label has completely wiped off. But something that looks like a brown pen, okay? And this is in the shade Brat pack 21A1. So this is slightly more of a glossy lipstick. It's so comfortable and it smells like a cocoa pie. Also tastes like a cocoa pie. The only downside is that because it's so creamy, this you really run through this very, very fast. It finishes so fast. So if you live in a hot place, make sure that you keep this protected from the heat. Don't leave it in the car. It's going to completely melt right off. Okay. I lied in the beginning of the video. I said it's all gonna be neutral, but hello, we have a bricky brown. I absolutely love this lipstick from Nude Sticks, so I had to include this in my nude lipstick video, okay? I mean, ish pretty. <laughs> so this is the Intense Matte Lip and Cheek Pencil in the shade Retro from the brand Nude Sticks. Absolutely love it. Very, very long wearing, very, very comfortable, very, very matte. Guys, what more do I say? And look, if you want a little bit more dimension, you take that pillow talk or any light, light lipstick, pop it right to the center of the lips, not throughout the lips, just center. And you've got a whole different look. Here is another slightly peachy nude lipstick and this is from K-Beauty. This is the shade Debut. Now I have to say that the K... <clears throat> Sorry. Now I have to say that all of K-Beauty's lipsticks are not equally pigmented. Some of these lighter shades you have to go over it a couple of times. Especially if you have pigmented lips like myself. It's a little bit more silicone-y in texture. But of course, you know, you go over it enough times. You're gonna get like a good uh, payoff anyways. But I had to mention that, you know, this can go on a little patchy. Let's now move on to the very, very last nude lip combo. And it's kind of not... Okay, let's get into it. Now, this lipstick is not nude on me by any means. This is um, Disorderly by Smashbox. But the reason why I wanted to show this is because, one, it's a gorgeous color. This is all I've been wearing in the U.S. And every time I came on stories, which is pretty much every day, you guys wanted to know, what's on your lips, Jovi? So I wanted to mention that this is the shade Disorderly by Smashbox. Uh, this is also the one that I showed in my Get Ready With Me Everyday New York Makeup Tutorial right here. Um, but I'm going to show you how to make this nude because this is a part of the Smashbox Duo Minis that you get exclusively only on Nika and this comes with this nude shade which is called Stepping Out. I believe it comes, I mean you know I have a lot of these duos so I don't I hope I'm not mixing up two different duos. I think these two came together. But anyways, when you apply the stepping out right to the center of Disorderly, it makes such a beautiful concoction of nude for deeper skin tone. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how. Just pop it right to the center of your lips and mix it with your finger because this is liquid lipstick. You can't do a lot of the smudging with the lips itself. Take your finger and just pat, pat, pat till you get the level of nude that you want and concentrate that nude color to the center of the lips for that 3D pout effect it did not dry out my lips it did not dry out in the tubes either a complaint that I had with a lot of these Smashbox minis earlier was that the lipstick itself dried out so super soon but I've had these for a while now I want to say six months and it's not dried out yet okay so keep that in mind I don't know if they've changed the formulation or not but so far so good but I've had that complaint with the Smashbox liquid lipsticks in the past where it just immediately dries off in the tube that is it 10 new nude lipstick combinations for you to try and fall in love with wear it 
with whatever you want. <laughs> I hope you found this video helpful and you enjoyed it and you were entertained by it. If you were, definitely click that thumbs up button just underneath this video. Share this video with a friend and I will catch you in my next one. I love you. Mm -hmm.